I was supposed to get a much better uh, clip-on microphone so we would be getting much better audio here but apparently something went wrong with uh, the delivery so it's not here so because of that I'm not gonna talk for a long time today but instead I'm gonna show you how we did one of the uh, Envision Studio animations that we did back in December and what was the structure of it and how the animation was planned and how it worked okay so here we go as you can see Envision creates animation by creating a transition between the slides so if you have the slide called start over here and then there's the slide number one as you can see this one is empty because all of those uh, elements are actually hidden and moved a little bit outside plus uh, their opacity is decreased mostly to zero and because of that the transition between those two slides happens uh, to make those elements just show up on the screen and you can also see that the characters are somewhere here 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 and here and they just uh, slide in from the bottom and from the sides a little bit to create the animation and then the next stages are basically moving both the characters a little bit so the character that was here is now behind the screen on this one uh, somewhere here and and all the other ones uh, first of all the one in the very center enlarges a little bit so it kind of gives it more focus and the rest moves a little bit to the background and one other nifty effect here is that the background itself the uh, mountains in the back are moving slightly slower than the characters to create a nice uh, parallax effect and this animation is happening without user input so it's basically just uh, quick time events and uh, yeah it just rotates you can also notice that some of the screens have the eyes of Geralt a little bit more yellowy and those uh, basically just appear on on some of the screens mostly the ones that are showing him in the center so that creates an animation and if you play the animation it looks a little bit like this so a very simple parallax scrolling with a predefined uh, presets but it creates a very nice effect in the end and as he slides in the eyes are glowing again okay so this is it for today this is completely non-interactive this is just a way to show that you can do pretty complex animations uh, using raster images in envision studio hope you liked it don't forget to subscribe and see you next time